have all the confidence in the world in Bybee today. He will be the starting pitcher for the Guardians today. He has 10 wins, three losses, 303 ERA, 125 strikeouts in his 124 and two thirds innings, and uh, 10 home starts. He's five and two with a, a nice ERA, 202. His ERA is a little bit higher on the road, but he still has five wins there. So he's been very consistent. He's the one guy that I've, I really look forward to seeing pitch every five days. The roller to short, Arias with the backhand throws him out, one down. Well, hey, Polanco, three for three last night with a home run. Swings and pops off. A little breaking ball in on his fist, maybe. Arias is out there. And the shortstop gives way to Miles Straw for out number two. A two out walk will get Kepler to the plate. Max, 21 homers, 51 knocked in. Crack foul, fair down the line between Josh Naylor in the bag. Lewis to third. He's being waved around third. He'll score. And another two strike hit for Max Kepler and the Twins to put them on the board one to nothing. He's thinking about, okay, I'm going to get fastball and curveball mostly, so I have to look for those. Joyce Lewis just speeding around the bases. Another thing that he does really well, he can run. And now Correa with Kepler at second and two down. And a base hit left field. Kepler around third, he'll score, and the Twins jump out in front again in the first inning, two to nothing. And worth noting, Sonny Gray's only given up two earned runs all year in the first inning. The Twins matching that total here off of Bybee before Gray even touches the rubber. Correa, three straight multi-hit games, off to a good start, one for one tonight, so two nothing Twins, and now Solano. Swing and a miss. He struck him out to end the inning. But Minnesota gets two runs on two hits, and the Guardians are coming to bat. Sonny Gray, what a terrific year. All for a little run support. A seven and six record, not indicative of what he has done. Fly ball left field. Looks harmless. Hit right to Waller for the first out. And a 1 1. Chopped to the right side. Should be two. Julian's second one. Correa's return is in time. You bet. Double play. And Sonny Gray faces just three men in the first. Back to the top of the order and Edward Julian. Tried to hold up. Did he go? The appeal he went. And that'll be the second strikeout for Tanner Bybee. Two down. That shows you right there the difference when you can get ahead of a hitter. You can throw a good pitch that's not a strike and see what he does. And he goes after it. Royce Lewis, the young phenom, leads off the Twins third to nothing Minnesota. And line to short. Leaping ground. By Arias. He couldn't get any higher, and Lewis couldn't hit it any harder. Boy, is it going to be fun to watch Tanner Bybee and Royce Lewis face off year after year. Kepler launches one to deep center field, and what a catch by Miles Straw for out number two. Another fine defensive play in center by Miles Straw as Kepler gave it a ride, and Straw, fearless of that wall, runs it down. Rocket to left, leaping grab by. Quad. The Twins couldn't hit the ball any harder. And yet, it was an eight pitch inning and a one, two, three inning for Tanner Bybee. And the leadoff man is out for the first time tonight for rookie catcher Bo Naylor. Swung and a rocket. Deep right center. It's got a chance. Go on, Bo Naylor. His fourth home run in the last 14 games. We are tied at two. A BB to right center. Off the bat of Bo Naylor. And this kid is just getting better on a daily basis. Rough inning for Sonny Gray. He threw almost as many pitches in the third inning as he did in innings one and two combined. Gray puts him away. Back to a one, two, three inning for Sonny. And we head to the fifth tie to two. Top of the Twins lineup, Edward Julian leads things off. Good pitch. Bring him up. It sure looked good. That was a changeup, and I think Julian was just completely baffled. Swing and a miss, strike three. He got him to chase the fastball up high. Big strikeout for Tanner Bybee, and now there's two down in the inning. Runner first is off, 3-2 pitches outside. And the bases are now loaded for the Twins. This may be his last hitter in the ball game if he can get him out and keep the bases loaded. It'll be another five-inning job, but he's only allowed four hits. Arias. There's the short way to end the inning. The Twins leave them loaded. We're halfway through. Deadlocked at two. And now it is second and third. One out. He'll take his chances with Straw. Although Straw in his career is six for 12 off Sonny Gray. Right field. Kepler moving back, makes the catch, tagging up, coming home. Arias, throw to the plate, cut off, throw to third, not in time. And there are two down. Guardians take the lead. Miles Straw's 26th RBI on the year. 3-2 Cleveland in the fifth. Matt Moore 
And on the pitch for the Guardians. And that'll bring up Vasquez. To the right field corner. And to the pole. And gone! Another right-handed hitter goes right down the right field line for a big home run. And the game is tied. And now Vasquez ties it with his sixth home run of the year. And he was one of the guys in Texas. He hit the ball in the exact same spot. See this? A fastball up and out over the plate. He just throws the big end of the bat. Just flipped the big end of the bat at it. I don't know that I've ever seen so many right-handed batters in a short period of time go right down the opposite field line. Instead of bringing Louie into a first and third situation here with one out, Sonny Gray's going to stick in the ball game after a long talk with Rocco Baldelli. Got him. Second out of the inning. He's been trying that sweeper down and in. Has not been sharp. And then all of a sudden in a huge spot makes a great pitch with it. Right center. Kepler is over. Inning over. Gray left in to pitch out of his own jam. And he did it. Stephen 63rd appearance on the year. Polanco came up in the sixth inning in this very situation. Second and third and one down. And Moore struck him out. A high fly right center field tagging his Gallo Brennan with the catch he's got a great arm and the throw not in time both runners move up with two strikes Polanco gets the job done and it's upstairs he walked him so the bases are loaded for Carlos Correa oh to the backstop it goes another run is in and it's 5 3 Minnesota and that does hit him. And the bases are reloaded. Stefan all over the place. Back to back walks, a wild pitch, a hit batter, and Solano will come up to center and down for a hit and by straw all the way to the wall. How far can Solano go? The bases have been cleared. Solano at third, and he busts the game wide open. Twins bottom nine. Let's see if Emilio Pagan can put a bow on this one here tonight with a five run lead on for the 58th time. With 23 games to play, the Minnesota Twins have a seven game lead in the American League Central. 